Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have so much to tell you. I'm officially 10 days post-op. For those of you who did not know, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on September 26, 2018. And I am officially 10 days post-op. I keep looking down here because I have some stats because I know you all want to hear the stats. You want to see the pictures. You want to know how much weight I've lost. So we'll get into that. But I'm feeling pretty good. I can tell that after 10 days, I'm starting to be hungry. Like I've been on liquids for a long time. A long time. Like you're on liquids. I was on liquids for a week prior to my surgery date. And I'm 10 days out. So <laughs> so on the one hand, I'm feeling a little hungry. Today was the first day where I saw somebody else eat in front of me. And it actually tried to bother me just a little bit. Um, Spencer and Reed had Bojangles. Fried chicken and fries. And I was like, oh my God. I regret this surgery but not really um so I never have released my stats so this is the video for that and also I'm super excited because I have to be careful because I didn't think to cover um the address but I have my very first package if you're familiar with my channel you have probably seen um me you have probably seen me exchange gifts with my twin friend, Tyler Ramey, over at the Tyler Ramey channel. But this one was a total surprise I wasn't expecting, so I want to get to this too. So, I got a lot to cover. I only have like 12 minutes. Ugh. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video filmed before too much more time had passed. So, anyway, here's what you're waiting for. My highest weight ever recorded, which I can't believe I'm going to say it out loud. Not only say it out loud, but put it out there for the whole YouTube world to hear. But, I mean, it's just facts, so let's go ahead and put it out there. Highest weight, I'm 6'1". My highest weight ever recorded was 274.4 pounds. I just cringe when I even say it out loud. It's crazy. You know how when you're gaining weight, and you can kind of tell, but you hit that one number, there's always that one number you're like, oh, if I go over that, it's just, it's over. Well, that number was like 30 pounds ago, <laughs> and I just kept going. So anyway, my highest weight was 274.4. Let's see. The second day of my liquid diet, so I'd only been on my liquid diet for like a full day, I was 272.4. Day of surgery, September 26th, I was 265.8. Today, it is Saturday, October 6th, and I weighed in at 252.6. So that is a total loss of 21.8 pounds since starting the whole process. And since surgery, it's 13.2. Although that's probably more like 10 or 11 because I'm using my home scale because I don't have the doctor scale. And they always weigh me about two or three pounds heavier. So realistically, it's probably more like 11 pounds. But either way, I'll take it. But I was also the 252.6 like on Wednesday or Thursday and it's Saturday. So, so I'm already thinking, my surgery didn't work. <laughs> but I just have to chill out, calm down. It's doing its job, I'm doing my job. I'm following all the advice of my doctor. So I'm still on liquids. I have pro probably two protein shakes a day and I've been drinking stuff like this um, just to not have so much of the thickness. This is a protein 2 or something like that. I don't know. I just found these at Walmart. There was a four pack on clearance for five bucks, so I picked it up. But in this one bottle, it's only 60 calories and 15 grams of protein and zero sugar. And I'm liking the taste of that tropical coconut after having so much thick protein shakes like chocolate and vanilla and stuff. So that's been really good. Um, okay, well my camera is saying I only have nine minutes, so let's go ahead and open this box. This is a box from one of my subscribers. I think I actually met her through Tyler. I think she was actually a subscriber of Tyler's first and then she came and subscribed to my channel. But her name is Julie. I think her name is Three Dog Mom on YouTube. So if you ever see comments from Three Dog Mom, that's Miss Julie. But the day that I posted my video saying that I was gonna have gastric by not gastric bypass, gastric sleeve, she messaged me and said that she had just had it like three and a half months ago. So you can bet I was messaging her asking what to expect, how her experience had been. So we've been messaging back and forth, but I checked my post office box and had an actual package. So I want to go ahead and open that. Let me do this part down here. And I don't want to rush, but I do feel like I have to hurry a little bit because I only have a little bit of time left. So let me get this part open. good y'all. It's nice and secure. Oh, I see pretty stuff already. Oh, I'm so excited. To Amanda, that's 
likes me. And I think she's okay with me reading all this on, on my videos. So look at that cutest, cutest card. We were just thinking about you and thought we'd let you know it get well soon. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, let me read it. Miss Daisy Rain, well, it's surgery day and I couldn't be more excited for you. I, in parentheses, we, have put together a few goodies for you to use while you are recovering. Hope you enjoy them. A few notes. Four fills of the water bottle would go slightly over your daily minimum. Just keep sipping. That has been the hardest thing to do is get your water, but she would know that. Number two, I put a little cocoa butter in the pot in case you want to try on your incision scars. How thoughtful. Three, all kinds of water flavors are included. They are all brand new, so you can find some favorites. If you see a puppy hair on anything, that's just one of my babies waving at you, LOL. Well, um, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm currently covered in my, if you haven't noticed, I'm at my parents' house, by the way. They are out of town and I'm puppy sitting and their dog hair is all over my shirt, so I understand. Number five, the plastic circle containers are great for portion control and or snacks later. All my best. You've got this, smiley face. Um, love three dog mom, Julie and the kids, Olivia, Morgan, and Chloe. I never knew her dog's name. That is so absolutely sweet. I can't eat then. This is, like I said, my first package I've ever gotten from a subscriber other than Tyler and I kind of knew that oh my gosh I knew those were coming from Tyler look at all of these drink mixes oh my gosh and I was running low I'm not even kidding I have found that the blue crush or the Hawaiian punch the blue pine from Dollar Tree has been my favorite but there's so many in here I'm not going to show them all right now because I only have four minutes but oh my gosh look So many, Julie, thank you. Oh, I see some, all of these are probably sugar-free or low sugar, probably sugar-free. Tropical Punch, I see, oh, Cranberry Apple, that sounds delicious. Jolly Rancher, Pinch Mango Tea, Pina Colada, those look so good. Oh, look, Jerkins Ultra Healing. Anybody could use this whether you've had surgery or not. These perfect little water size, 2.3 ounce cups. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten of those, these are going to be so helpful. You don't even realize how much of this stuff you actually use until you've had the surgery. It's just a complete change. Oh my gosh, I love this color. A stainless steel bottle. I just told Spencer today that I'm going to have to go get me a bottle with a lid because I've literally been putting because we've already talked about the dog hair flying around. I've been putting like a Ziploc bag over the top of my drink, over my cups and like sipping the, no more. I got me a pretty, pretty bottle. Thank you, Julie. What is this? And this must be the cocoa butter. Oh, that'll be perfect to try on my scars. I don't have anything yet. <gasps> Look at this cute lunch bag. Oh my gosh. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's got a little snap pocket on the front. Ah, oh, Julie, this is so cute. And it's a zip top. And I love this material. Insulates and protects your lunch. And protects your lunch. It's machine washable. This is awesome. And it matches. It's so cute. Portion control plates. Oh my gosh. I love these. I don't have any of this stuff. I'm so excited. And little baby spoons. They teach you to start out eating with these. <laughs> yes, in my nutrition class, they said get some infant or some baby spoons and learn to eat with those so you don't overdo it with your new stomach. Perfect. And what is this? More stuff. Oh, a cute little frozen set of a fork and a spoon. This is absolutely adorable and not only was it adorable but i actually needed this stuff and i cannot wait you know i'll be drinking these every day i can't believe that like a complete stranger just sent me a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> but she doesn't feel like a stranger she really does feel like a friend she has been so helpful and you know telling me what to expect how her process has been going and it's always great to have somebody who's gone through it that you can ask questions like that and i love the card i love my goodies I I can't wait to use them. I'm definitely, these will come in so handy when I start 
solids again, which is not for another, I don't know, two weeks probably. Thank you so much, Julie. You have been like one of my biggest cheerleaders through this whole thing since I've told people that I was going to get it done. And this just puts it over the top. So thank you so much. That's so sweet. Okay, so let's move on to what everybody wants to see probably. Well, maybe not everybody. People might be squeamish and they don't want to see it. Here's your warning. If you get squeamish, it's really not that bad. I just have a little bit of glue still over the little incisions. I have six incisions and a little bruising. It's not that bad. If you're squeamish, don't want to see it. Fair warning. That's what I'm going to show next. So I'm just going to literally stand up. Have a skirt on. Let me get myself adjusted. So six incisions. And if already you're like, oh my God, you're so fat. No, duh, that's why I had the surgery. But anyway, we have six scars. And then this over here is like a bruise I got when they gave me the blood thinning shot. It bruised pretty bad, but. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And this sixth one over here is where they pull the stomach out. So that's why it has the most bruising. And as you can see, probably, I can't really tell good, but. So you probably still see the glue. Yeah, it's like trying to peel off, but I'm not picking it off. I'm just letting it fall off. I don't, ugh, I don't wanna mess with it. So, so yeah, I can even still tell that there's a little bit of like, it feels almost like gas or air or swollen. I don't know. So this is 10 days post-op. I think my incisions are looking pretty good. So yeah, that's what I'm working with. I've been pretty pleased with this whole process. Not much pain at all. I guess that's due to the good pain meds they give you in the hospital. But I just stayed in the hospital one night. So my surgery was around noon on the 26th and I was released by... I want to say by four the following day on the 27th and I only took my pain medicine once that evening but I could tell that the pain medicine was also making me nauseated so I just tried to um not take that and I really didn't need it too much for the pain you know it's just tender and stuff but I did just fine without it so um the trickiest part is just the few days after surgery trying to not overdo it with the liquids, just little sips here and there you can have. I think my goal was to have one ounce every 15 minutes and that was four ounces an hour. I'm not sure that I reached that in the hospital, but now um, 10 days out, I can, I can drink pretty normally. Like I still drink pretty small sips, but it doesn't hurt or anything when I swallow or when it's going down or anything. Um, I did buy some unflavored protein powder after being this long on liquids and just having the protein shakes all day, every day. It's the same flavor, the same texture. It's a sweetness and I wanted to change that up a little bit. So I actually spent about 40 bucks buying some unflavored protein powder and that had 30 servings in it. So I just take a scoop of that and put it in some cream, different soups like cream of broccoli. Um, and even though those soups are light and fat, or low fat, um, they taste like salty compared to the protein shake. So that has been a very welcome change. So I'm on liquids for probably four or five more days. And then I move on to the pureed stage. So I'm looking forward to that. And then you move on to soft foods and then you move on to like normal foods again. So I feel like the pureed part is still like, feel mushy and not the texture you want so once I can get the soft foods I think I'll just be smooth sailing and I do so much want to say thank you to each and every one of you that took the time to send me a sweet comment message text all the sweet sweet comments and words of encouragement that you left on my previous YouTube video thank you so much for that um, it really does help a lot it helped a lot going into the surgery and even now reading back over it just to know you had that much support and good people in the world just makes your heart feel so full so thank you for that and I guess I need to wrap this up if y'all have any questions or comments or want to see something else I'll try to put maybe some before and after pictures at the end of this video if I think about it I feel like I kind of skipped over the whole hospital portion which your mind is well mine wasn't 
my mind definitely was not on filming when I was at the hospital. I just didn't feel like it. That first night in the hospital it wasn't bad. It's just the nurse is in every two hours, so you got absolutely no sleep. Um, please find me on Instagram at Hello Daisy Rain. I'm going to try to keep that a little more updated with my stats and some before and after pictures and that kind of stuff. So I'd love for you to follow me on Instagram. Thanks for being here for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye!